please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, liberty and justice for all. Top of the morning, hot dogs. It's Friday, Junior. Happy Thursday. Let's go to Morpheus. I can now say that it is truly certifiably spring. Yesterday, I went out to my car, and my Powerade was warm. That's the first time this year. If you want to follow my footsteps and have some warm power today, you'll get it, as we're already at 54, and it's only up from here, as we'll get up to 72, then drop down to 57 tonight. Now, as you saw as you walked in, it's rather sunny out there, and that will continue into the night, albeit with a few clouds sprinkled in here and there. The main story today will be the wind, although it's not too bad. It will be from the northeast between 20 and 30 miles an hour. Ricky? Thanks, Mo. Applications for the 2018-2019 Frankfurt DECA Leadership Team will become available in the next two weeks. If you're interested in joining Color Guard for the summer marching band, please attend the call-out meeting next Wednesday during community in the band room. The Clinton County College and Career Fair is scheduled for Wednesday, April 18th at the fairgrounds from 5.30 to 7 p.m. This is the first year that we've been able to offer the opportunity for you not only to be to speak with college representatives, but also with employers and skilled trades. This fair is, all, is for all students grades 9 to 12, whether you are college or workforce bound. Please stop by and learn about the opportunities available to you after high school. It is never too early to learn more and to explore options for your future. Many schools in the state of Indiana will be there, including Universal Technical Institute, University of Evansville, Indiana State University, and Ball State University. Mr. Payton's community heads to Rushton's room, to one room 115 for community today. Please go check out our eWin video contest on our YouTube channel. Be sure to like the video, subscribe to our channel, and comment. Now, to Sports with Riley. Thanks, Icy. Yesterday, there wasn't many sports events, which could be defined as a good or a bad thing, but who knows. Well, last night, the Lady Hot Dog tennis team traveled to Delphi to face the Oracles and came home with a big team win, winning all five of their matches and pushing their season record to 4-0. The reserve squad also won their matches in a dominating fashion, 8-0. All in all, it was a great day at the office for the Lady Hot Dogs. Their next match is next Monday versus West Lafayette on their home court. In other news, both softball and baseball play Danville today. Make sure you support your hot dogs tonight. Now, to Dallas asking more questions. Hello everyone, and welcome to Ask Dallas Ask. And I am here with editor for Digital High Life, Claire Bartley. Welcome, Claire. Hi. I guess my Emma and I am here to ask you some questions for what what people can know about Digital High Life. So I guess my first question would be, what is Digital High Life? Um, Digital High Life is a thing that our yearbook class is producing. Um, we wanted to create something that was student produced, um, something other that was getting information out um, that wasn't about um, what the announcements are saying or about what hot dog chatter is, so like no sports and like nothing like that. All right. So next question would be, what can seniors expect at this in my life? Um, just like I said, they're going to get information and stories that they're not hearing from the announcements or from Hot Dog Chatter. They're getting something that the students came up with and information that is being put out there from the students. Okay. And final question. What do I have to do as a, if I was a senior to be in Digital High Life? Um, mostly you just have to be involved in things that are going on around the school. Um, if there's some, if you get an email from someone um, and it's like a survey, make sure you answer it because most likely you'll be featured in the Digital High Life 
if you answer emails that you're getting um, from students that are taking like surveys or polls or something like that, um, then most likely you'll be featured in the High Life. Okay, is there anything else you'd like to say? Um, yes, yeah, seniors need to answer their emails because um, if you want to be a part of like Who's Who and uh, Wills and Memories, we have sent emails about out about that, so that is really important that you answer your emails for that. And then that's all. Thank you for coming, Claire. Yep. Thanks, Dell, for the awesome interview about Digital High Life. Seniors, again, be sure to check your email and complete the Google Forms for, for Willis and Memories and Who's Who for the senior edition of the High Life. The end is near, so we're, we're going to dip out. Same, Ricky, but that's all for the daily announcements. We'll see you tomorrow for the best day of the week. This has been a NASCAR is a real sport production.